in this video we will find the integral of sine of ln of x so we will integrate it by using integration by parts so let u is equal to sine of ln of x and dv is equal to dx now we take the derivative of both sides so the differential du is equal to the derivative of sine of ln of x which is cosine of ln of x upon x multiply by dx and here we integrate both sides so we have v is equal to x now the form formula of integration by parts is integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus integral of v du now first we put the value of u over here which is sine of ln x then dv is dx then put the value of u which is sine of ln of x and then the value of v which is x minus integral of v du so first we put the value of v which is x then the value of du so we have cos of ln of x upon x dx now we have integral of sine of ln of x is equal to x times sine of ln of x minus we can cancel this x and this x so we have integral of cosine of ln of x dx now we can integrate cosine of x separately so again we will use integration by parts in order to integrate cosine of ln of x so suppose u is equal to cosine of ln of x and dv is equal to dx the differential du is equal to the derivative of cosine of ln of x which is minus sine of ln of x upon x and here we integrate both sides so we have v is equal to x now the formula of integration by parts is integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du so first we put the value of u which is cosine of ln of x dv is dx u is cosine of ln of x then v is x minus integral of v so v is x and then du du is minus sine of ln of x upon x here we have to write dx because this is differential so we write dx over here now the integral of cosine of ln of x dx is equal to x times cosine of ln of x minus times minus is plus integral of and we can cancel this x and this x so we have integral of sine of ln of x dx now we put this integral over here so the integral of sine of ln of x dx is equal to x times sine of ln of x minus x times cosine of ln of x minus integral of sine of ln of x dx now we can take this integral on the other side so we have integral of sine of ln of x dx plus integral of sine of ln of x dx is equal to x times sine of ln of x minus x times cosine of ln of 
now these two integrals are same so this can be added and we have two times integral of sine of ln of x dx is equal to and here we can take x common so we have x times sine of ln of x minus cosine of ln of x and then dividing both sides by 2 so we have integral of sine of ln of x dx is equal to half of x multiplied by sine of ln of x minus cosine of ln of x plus c where c is the constant of integration.